hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching we will continue our a1 german grammar and today we talk again about dativ and to be more precise we talk about the personal pronouns and how to substitute the dativ objects so let's start So last time we talked about the indefinite and definite article using the dativ. We have it here on the right side. I have it for you also today so you can see and repeat maybe. Dem, der, dem. Den for the definite article. Einem, einer, einem and nothing but the N for the indefinite article. If we read the example here on the left side. Das Haus gehört dem Onkel, or second option, dem Onkel gehört das Haus. I told you last week that you can switch around the position of the nouns. You will learn later what sounds more natural and how to use it to emphasize. So, what does the sentence mean? It means the house belongs to the uncle, or to the uncle belongs the house. The task wants you to put in those verbs, which are, of course, needing a dative object. This is why we are doing this. Passen, to fit. Gehören, to belong. Schmecken, to be tasty to somebody. Gefallen, to like or to be liked by somebody. Okay, try this exercise. Take your time and we will compare in a little bit. Okay, let's compare. I gave you the pattern subject, verb, object. If you did the other one or both, of course, this is correct as well. So let's read and see what we have here. First one, die Pizza schmeckt den Kindern. Of course, die Pizza is in nominativ because it's a subject. Then we have the verb and then we have Kinder, the children, which is plural. So we have to put den and the n. Next one. Die Jacke passt der Studentin. Again, die Jacke is nominativ. Fits. Studentin is female. We check out our little chart on the right side. We see female, it is der. So we change it. Der Studentin. Next one. Der Wein schmeckt der Reporterin. I made it female for some reason. I don't know why, but we can change it. Of course, female reporter is again like the student. If you want to make it male, we have der reporter and we have to say dem reporter. So it's male. We check out our chart and we know immediately it is dem. So we have to change it. Dem reporter. Next one. Das Hotel gefällt den Gästen. The hotel is liked by the guests. Die Gäste is plural, the guests. We check out our little chart here. Den and we add the N. So it is den Gästen. Next one. Der Wagen gehört dem Chef. This is male. And we know immediately it is dem. Touristen is again plural. And we say die Bilder gefallen den Touristen. The pictures are liked by the tourists. Die Schuhe passen dem Großvater. The shoes fit the grandfather. Male. Now we have a special one because we don't have an object here. So, der Schweinsbraten schmeckt would be a totally valid sentence to say. If you finish it like that. Der Schweinsbraten schmeckt means the roast is tasty or tasteful. We don't have to say to whom it is tasteful. The mere part is something you will learn later. I just gave you a little hint on what we will do next. And the last one. Die Villa gehört dem Manager. Again, male. The manager, if it's a female manager, it would be der Managerin. So here we have the female one and we know it is der. So keep in mind, 
nominative stays the same. In this case, in the beginning, you can switch it around, but don't forget that the position of a word in a sentence does not decide what case it is. I give you an example. Der Managerin gefällt die Villa. So now we have the noun, which is the subject, which is the first case in the end. And we have the dative object in the beginning. Easy as that. If you have questions about it, please leave it in the comments below. And of course, you can give examples also in the comments. Before we continue, two things I want to say for you to keep in mind. We talked about it, of course, I want to repeat it. All things, nouns, have a grammatical gender. Therefore, they have an article. I gave you here the articles, der, die, das, die, in nominative, den, die, das, die, in accusative, dem, der, dem, den, in dative. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that we can substitute the things we're talking about by a personal pronomen. Not only people, of course, in English we say, I called Peter, or we can say, I called him, right? But the same thing in German goes for all the nouns, which also have a gender. I give you an example. Ist der Wein teuer? Is the wine expensive? Nein, er ist günstig. No, it is cheap. So, der Wein, male, becomes er. Because of the grammatical gender, it's not because it is biologically male. Depending on where you're from, I think you understand it quite easy or maybe not so easy, but I want to make it sure to be understandable for everybody. Next example. Rufst du die Praxis an? Are you calling the doctor's office? Nein, ich rufe sie morgen vielleicht an. No, maybe I call it or them in English, tomorrow. So, die Praxis becomes sie because it is female. Now I give you an example with a person, which is actually the easiest part, but only because we know the gender, because the biological gender is the same as the grammatical gender most of the time. So, kennst du den Professor? Do you know the professor? Ja, ich kenne ihn. Yes, I know him. Akkusativ. Ich helfe ihm jeden Montag bei der Vorlesung. I help him every Monday during his lesson. And here we have dativ. Why is the dativ? Because the verb helfen, to help, requires it. Akkusativ is required for the verb to know somebody. So this is our next step. And our next point. So, the personal pronomen in dative. We have a nice chart here. I really recommend you to learn it by heart. It is the personal pronouns in nominative, accusative, and dative. You can see some are similar, some are not. So, the example here goes, Maria telefoniert mit Robert. Hört Maria Robert zu? Is Maria listening to Robert? Ja, sie hört ihm zu. Yes, he listens to him. Hört Robert Maria zu? Ja, er hört ihr zu. I take the same color as before, so to make it really visible. Maria is the subject. This is why it is nominative. It doesn't change. Maria, female, becomes she. Z. Robert is the object, and if we substitute it, we need dativ, which makes it ihm. In the next example, Robert is the person doing the listening, so we substitute it with a nominative personal pronoun, and in this case, he listens to somebody, to the object of the sentence, which is Maria, and in this case, we have to go to the dativ table and to see. It is ihr. It is interesting here in this little example that if we say to somebody in a dialogue a certain personal pronoun in the answer, we have to switch it up. For example, 
Glaubst du mir? Do you believe me? Ja, ich glaube dir. So, the subject you became I because I answered to the question. I believe you. And the person who is getting believed at changes as well. Do you believe me? Yes, I believe you. As in English, but a little bit more complicated because it changes. Same example for plural. Glaubst du uns? Do you believe us? Ja, ich glaube euch. Yes, I believe you guys. Plural. Let's try it with a little exercise to see that it's not so hard. Glaubst du der Studentin? Nein, ich glaube ihr nicht. So, die Studentin is female. It becomes der Studentin in Dativ and then we'd go a step further and substitute it with the personal pronoun in dative. No, I don't believe her. Try to do the examples here and we will compare it in a second. Okay, let's read and compare your answers. Antwortest du Peter? Nein, ich antworte ihm nicht. Do you answer Peter? No, I don't answer him. Dankst du den Leuten? Nein, ich danke ihnen nicht. Do you thank the people? No, I do not thank them. Vertraust du Eva? Nein, ich vertraue ihr nicht. Do you trust Eva? No, I do not trust her. Glaubst du Max und Maria? Do you believe Max and Maria? Nein, ich glaube ihnen nicht. No, I don't believe them. Hörst du uns zu? Are you listening to us? Nein, ich höre euch nicht zu. No, I don't listen to you. Hilfst du Paul? Do you help Paul? Nein, ich helfe ihm nicht. No, I don't help him. So as you can see, it's manageable. You have to know if the verb needs dative, then you need to know if your dative object is male, female, neutral, then you have to switch it into the right form, so to speak. This is it for today. Don't give up. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. You can follow us also on Instagram. Leave your like, your follow, your feedback, whatever you want. I really enjoy reading those once in a while. And I will see you next Sunday. Have a good week. Bye.